the 10 scariest future tech trends everyone must know about right now. As a futurist, I look at future trends, but there are also some dangerous and worrying trends that will have huge implications on us as humans, on us in our jobs and so on. So here I look at the top trends that everyone really should know about today. AI singularity. We now have artificial intelligence algorithms that are extremely powerful, especially machine learning algorithms that outperform humans in many aspects. This will have huge implications for jobs, where we now have AIs that are superior in so many aspects. They are becoming stronger. They can their cognitive capabilities are much faster than humans. And this will change most jobs. 80 to 90% of all jobs we have in the world will be augmented by AI. Many of them will become obsolete because of AI. And we need to really think about how we prepare ourselves for this. I've actually written a book on, on the future skills to explain to everyone what all of this means and how you prepare for this. Editable humans. We're now able to change the inheritable genes in people, in plants and in our, in our human bodies. We now have technology like CRISPR-Cas9, which means we can edit genes and we can change the components of, car, of, of plants, but also us as humans, we can change our eye color, how strong we are, how tall we are, what we are capable of. We can make humans more intelligent. All of this has obviously huge implications, huge ethical concerns when we talk about what makes us human. Related to this is another important trend, which is this merging of humans and machines. We already do this. If someone has an accident, we can replace their limbs with artificial limbs, but we are now making huge progress around vision technology, for example. We can give people sight back, we can give them contact lenses. They can not only give them better vision than humans, they can have supervision, night vision capabilities. They can see like an eagle. All of this can potentially give humans superpowers. We already are seeing some of this. The US Army has created exoskeletons where basically our soldiers wear uh, robotic skeletons that give them superpower. And we're working on brain-computer interfaces, again, giving us the AI capabilities and linking this to humans that merge with machines where we have the, the, the Terminator vision of the future. Printing everything is a really important trend. We now have 3D printing capabilities that allow us to print anything including guns and weapons and other things. So as 3D printers become more available, it will be much harder to control things like weapons and guns because anyone can download their um, algorithms, press a button and have them printed in their house. Quantum computing. Quantum computers are computers, they're innovative computers that could give us computing power that is a, a trillion times more powerful than the supercomputers we have today. What this means is that this will enable hackers to break into anything and get around security systems. At the moment we use very advanced uh, encryption to protect our data, our personal data, our company data, our government data. Quantum computers can simply break this. And as a business, you need to look at quantum security to make sure this won't happen in the future. And there's a big arms race across nations from China to America to Russia in trying to develop these quantum computers. Autonomous smart robots. Again, what we're seeing is that robots are becoming more intelligent and more autonomous. This starts from self-driving cars to completely autonomous factories to robots that can now flip burgers in restaurants, they can serve us food, they can, we now have a robotic barista that makes us coffee. So this again has real implications for our jobs and we need to rethink how we prepare ourselves for all of this in the future and how do we retrain huge uh, sways of people that, that are currently working in jobs that we will be able to automate in the future. Killer drones. 
Drones are evolving really fast. We now have big drones, small drones. What is really quite scary is that they can coordinate and work together. So some of the militaries are working on killer drone swarms where you have 80 or 100 of them coordinating with each other. They use machine vision to identify a target. All of these drones include weapons that are able to, to potentially kill someone and they could attack together and you'd simply give them a target and they all work together to eliminate this target. So this is really quite scary stuff that is in development. The US Army recently launched a trial where they actually launched a, a killer drone swarm from a fighter jet and they operated and coordinated to then destroy a target. Digital surveillance. This is something else we need to worry about. As we increase the digitization of our world, we can track everything. We're seeing this at the moment in the workplace where companies are tracking the keystrokes of people and what they do. But beyond this, we now have face recognition technology that allow um, police departments or entire countries to monitor what their people are doing, where they're going. We're seeing some of this emerging in China. And we have to be really cautious about how we're deploying some of this technology. Deep fakes in the metaverse. What we are now able to do is we can create deep fakes of people. And we've seen this in photographs, but now we can deep fake videos and even the voices of people. I have my own hyper real digital avatar and all I need to do is I type some text into a system. This then generates a video where someone is speaking in my voice. If you have seen the deep, deep Tom Cruise uh, deep fakes on TikTok or YouTube, this gives you a really good understanding of where this technology is currently in terms of its capabilities. Most people watching these videos will not know that this isn't actually Tom Cruise. And as we met, enter the metaverse where we spend more time in the digital world as digital avatars, it will become a really important thing to have some form or some mechanism that verifies our identities nanobots. What we are now able to do is to shrink computers and robots down to a nanoscale, which means they can enter our bloodstream. We have recently seen nanobots that can even move from the bloodstream into our brain, so overcoming the blood-brain barrier. This means we can use them for drug delivery, taking samples, but also collecting and transmitting data. And there's even a research project going on at the moment to collect human thought. And there's a project on creating this global super brain where we're able to use nanobots to collect thoughts and share them, which again could have huge implications. There's so much more to learn about each of the trends I mentioned here. To, to stay up to date and learn more, subscribe to this channel, have a look my, at my podcast, and check out my books, Tech Trends in Practice and Business Trends in Practice, which just won the 2022 Business Book of the Year Award.